So I got a DM this week from this guy, let's call him Brian, asking me how to break up with somebody. He'd been with this girl for two and a half years and he'd never broken up with somebody and he didn't know how to go about it. He was smart because he came to me first. I get his dilemma, it's hard, it's difficult to break up with anybody. It's quite an anxious feeling. You feel it in the pit of your stomach and you're worried. You're worried how it's gonna go. You're worried about how they're gonna feel. Um, are they gonna cry? Are they gonna lash out? Is there a big argument? Are they not gonna care? The anxiety could just be too much sometimes. And that's why it's so difficult to break up with anybody. The problem is in today's society, we've decided that ghosting is an acceptable way of breaking up with somebody which it's not. To be honest, it's cowardly. To just not speak to anybody ever again can leave people questioning themselves and leave them with adverse mental health issues. So I gave Brian my five steps to breaking up with somebody without being a dick about it. And because I know all of you lot are such great human beings and you wouldn't dare ghost somebody, I knew you would benefit from this information too. And my DMs are always open on my Instagram if any of you have any other questions. I love to help you as much as I can and maybe I'll make a video about you. Have the courage to actually break up with them. Like I said before, so many people just ghost each other with no explanation and it's leaving a trail of destruction. Be better than that. Sit them down face to face and if you really can't, then at the very least FaceTime them. They've invested in motion and time into you. So it's the least that you can do. And by doing this, you're honestly saving everybody some time. Whilst you might be the one breaking up with them, you're still gonna go through a healing process after the end of a relationship. And the first step of that is to be honest and get it all out. Whilst I know it's difficult to do, it's going to be therapeutic for you. Another reason why you shouldn't ghost people is this new ex of yours might know people that you know. They might know people that you want to be with in the future. And you don't wanna have a reputation as somebody who hasn't got the courage to stand up and be honest about their feelings. You don't want a reputation for somebody who ghosts people. I've been dumped and I've dumped girls as well. And it's not easy. It's not nice to hear it and it's not nice to give it. Soften the blow by giving a compliment first or start by saying how amazing you think they are. Start by saying something positive about them, something that's truthful and honest, but positive about them. Something you do like about them, how they're so caring, they're so sweet, they're so lovely, they're so beautiful. So at the end of it, once you've given the reasons why you wanna break up, they have something to feel good about. Look, Sandra, you're such a kind and caring person. It's just not gonna work with us. Be honest with them, give them actual reasons. The worst thing you could do is be vague about it and be like, it's not you, it's me, I'm just not ready. Wishy-washy bollocks, basically. Because whilst you feel like you're protecting them, you're just gonna cause more mental anguish down the line. They'll be thinking, what was it? What is it about me? Tell them, tell them why the relationship didn't work. Tell them what it was about them. Or if it was you, then be honest with that. Be like, yeah. I'm a piece of shit. Whilst I know it's hard and difficult to do to be brutally honest to somebody, you should tell them. It doesn't matter if they accept it or not, at least you can come away thinking, I was honest. And if they do take it on, maybe they can improve it and sort out their love life for the rest of their life. It might be something they didn't realize about themselves, which they will develop in the next coming months or years and end up making them very happy for the future. So you're doing them a favor. And if it is you that's the reason then look inwardly afterwards. Work out why this was, how you came to this conclusion about yourself and how you can fix it. So you don't end up wasting yours and another person's time for the future. You're the one breaking up with them. So take the responsibility by saying I, not it didn't work out because we are different. It didn't work out because we don't match on the same levels. We didn't work out because you're a prick. No. Take responsibility and say, I, I don't think it's working out because I don't think we're a match. It's not gonna work out because I think you're a prick. I don't think it's gonna work out because I actually prefer your friend. Never make a scene and keep your batshit to a minimum. Maybe you're breaking up with them because they've really hurt you and it's okay to feel distraught. It's okay to want to rip their head off, I get it but 
Acting like you want to do that is not a good idea. Any attempt of aggression is gonna make you look like a child throwing a tantrum. Keep calm and express your feelings in a private and safe place. Grieve and express your pain, but don't do anything stupid. There's probably going to be tears and why or why oh, we can make it work. I promise I'll change. But if you've made your decision to break up with somebody, you should really follow through with it. I, for one, am terrible when a girl cries to me. I just want the crying to stop. But in the past, I would say anything I could to stop the crying. That includes being in a relationship with somebody for a year longer than I really should have. Don't lead them on. Don't say, oh, okay, maybe if you change this, we can make it work because if they really wanted to change, they would have before. And if they do change now because of something you want, they're just gonna end up resenting you. And definitely don't give them hope of a future relationship. Don't say, oh, let's see what things are like in a few years from now. And no, it's not a good idea to be friends with them afterwards. I don't know anybody that's ever worked for, so don't even promise it. So don't even suggest it. Respectively, cut all contact for a period of time. This is for your benefit and for theirs, because research in breakups suggests that if you do cut ties, you can get over them much faster. You've built the courage to end the relationship. Don't end up coming away from it with a sticky of, I don't know what's kind of happening now because we're not together, but we're still in contact. We still call each other. We still see each other. You're breaking up, it's done. I know there are fond memories of them, but that's not the reason to keep them in your life somehow. After the breakup, you'll get moments where you slightly relapse in your own head and you might question yourself, was that the right idea? So I would suggest writing down the reasons why you broke up and why it wasn't working. And anytime you feel like that, look at that list. You're incompatible and you're both better off now. This is your time now to invest in yourself. Work on yourself. Don't try and jump into another relationship too soon. There are emotional wounds that are open and you need to work on yourself to close them up before moving on to somebody else. Sometimes in relationships, we morph into a one single human instead of being two independent people. So coming out of a relationship, it's time to rediscover who you are. Time to find your personal identity again. Rediscover old hobbies, meet old friends, do the things that you were putting off because of the relationship. And only look to date again when you're actually excited to meet somebody new. And don't get this confused with desperation. Desperation and feeling lonely will make us do some silly things. Don't invest in another person until you're actually ready. You shouldn't be going dating because you genuinely need somebody in your life to be happy. You'll know you're ready when you're genuinely excited about going out there and meeting new people, but you don't care what happens. So I wish you all the luck in the world if you have to break up with somebody. And there's a high chances you're about to if you're watching this video. But to be honest, look at you. Breaking up with somebody without being a dick about it. Thank you, make sure you're subscribed. If you are already, please hit that bell notification so you know when my next video is coming out. And I will see you in the next one.